Good afternoon, YouTube. Just wanted to uh, show you my do-it-yourself ground-mounted uh, kilow uh, three kilowatt system that I just put into service. It's right next to our two kilowatt system. So, give you a quick tour. We'll give you uh, some breakdown of materials and how we were able to get this one built. So, let's take you under so you can see the advantages of this particular one. And if you guys have questions, let me know, and I'll help you build one. <clears throat> So I started out with three 4x4 four four posts that are dug into the ground about two foot. Um, these are eight foot posts here. Uh, and then I took my uh, hammer drill and drilled in a half inch hole through 2x4 that's pressure treated wood and the 4x4. Four four. Okay. From that I basically used a bolt, carriage bolt. Uh, went through there's a washer on each side of the 4x4 four four, and then a washer here and a nut and hand cranked it down the reason I did that was so that I could pivot my panels during certain times of the year my first design did not allow that okay I've also used unistrut in 10 foot sections except for on the end to allow for a sturdy assembly all the way across instead of using wood that could give or get wet or warp, I used Unistrut. The Unistrut is tied down to the 4x4s using anchored bolts um, with washers so that it doesn't come out during weather changes. I have my panels actually wired up in series and parallel. I have four panels in series together to create 138 volts. And I have three sections of that in parallel that go through this combiner before it goes into the house. Okay. Behind this box is basically um, uh, a circuit combiner. And it goes down in and into the home. This video is specifically about the mounted system. Um, I would like to edit and add things in. Until then, I'll be basically posting this video so you guys can ask me what you'd like to see in the video. If you have better ideas or if you've done something different, I'd gladly like to see it. Just reply back in the link. Thank you.